Chad Carswell has faced many hurdles in his life. He's a double amputee and has undergone major surgeries on his heart. But it is his kidney, which is only functioning at 4%, that has him undergoing dialysis three times a week, leaving him in need of a transplant. Without one, you know, there's no telling how much longer I'll still be here, but I have to have a kidney you know, to prolong my life. Carswell says that friends and local businesses raised money for the transplant. He then came here to Baptist Hospital in Winston-Salem where scans and tests were done, but then he was told he needed something else to be fully vaccinated. He said, you know, the last thing we need to talk about is your vaccination status, and that's when I politely told him there was nothing really to talk about. It wasn't up for debate that I wasn't getting it. Um, and then he told me, you know, you know, you'll die if you don't get it. And I said, I'm willing to die. Carswell says he was also told anyone wanting to donate also had to be vaccinated. The hospital says their policy follows the current standard of care in the United States, saying in a statement, the reason it is recommended is to provide protection for the patient. Transplant patients are at high risk for severe illness if they don't have pre-existing immunity prior to being transplanted. Carswell says he's had COVID-19 twice and doesn't believe he needs the vaccine, even if it means he can't get his surgery. I've not changed my mind. I've had conversations with my family and everybody that's close to me. They know where I stand and there will not be a situation that occurs that I will choose to change my mind on this topic. No, sir. Reporting in Winston-Salem, I'm Dave Faraday.